Our world is constantly changing. New islands are being created, fires burn in forests, volcanoes explode and destroy areas. Nothing remains the same and habitats are constantly changing. Ecological succession is a process by which an ecological community undergoes changes following a disturbance or the initial colonization of a new habitat. For example, the islands of Hawaii were formed from volcanic activity. From their fiery start, over time they became tropical islands. There are two main types of succession, primary and secondary. Primary succession occurs in new areas that have little or no soil. In other words, the area has been almost completely destroyed or is newly formed. For example, new islands can be created from lava flows. The lava creates a new land without soil. A volcano may destroy a very large area. This would be an example of primary succession. Over time, dirt is formed, plants begin to grow, and a forest or a grassland may return. The first species that colonized this new land is called the pioneer species. Lichen and moss are many times pioneer species. Secondary succession occurs when an existing ecosystem has been destroyed or disturbed. They are more minor in magnitude compared to a primary succession. For example, a forest fire may destroy a large area of trees and plants, or flooding can destroy an area. In this before and after picture, the fire destroys plants, but the soil remains. Two years later, the forest has grown back. Here is how secondary succession may occur. Fire destroys plant growth. The fire leaves behind empty but not destroyed soil. Grasses and other plants grow back first. Small bushes and trees begin to colonize the area. Next, fast-growing evergreen trees develop to their fullest, while shade-tolerant trees develop underneath. Eventually, larger deciduous trees will grow over them, and the ecosystem is similar but different from where it began. These disturbances can actually be healthy for an area over time because they can lead to increased biodiversity. Controlled burns are practiced by many park services. The fires help manage weeds and other growth and helps to reduce the risk of wildfires, but it can also help destroy nutrients and lead to more desirable plant growth in the future. If you'd like to know more about succession, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching. And Moo Moo Math uploads a new math or science video every day. Please subscribe and share.